This is Linda C. I'm Suzanne Ridgeway, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to take a tour of my pantry shelves and see what I have available for emergency situations. But first, smash on that subscribe board, tap on that bell, give this video a big thumbs up. If you follow me on a regular basis, you know I like to keep a stocked pantry that I have an itemized list on my phone of everything I have on my shelves as well as in my freezer. It is a good thing to keep these items available to you at all times. I have canned meats such as ham, tuna, and chicken. If you're not a fan of these in time of a crisis and you need something to eat, it is there. There are ways to flavor it and make delicious meals out of it. Applesauce can be a great eggs substitute. I have canned potatoes, green beans, mixed vegetables, oranges, all kinds of different canned goods, including soups. I try to keep a healthy stock of chunky soups, Goya products such as chickpeas and their beans. Beans are very nutritious and good for you and full of protein. I like to stockpile pasta as well as mixed vegetables and certain canned vegetables that my children really enjoy. I have some Goya chickpeas, applesauce in the back here. I have some mandarin oranges that my kids love as well as some canned apples. I keep mayonnaise on hand and I keep fluff for sandwiches and peanut butter. Peanut butter has long expiration dates. I have all several jars of that and we go through a lot of peanut butter in my house. I have beans, I have canned potatoes, you can make soups and mashed potatoes with these. I also have dried potato flakes. If you're out of flour, this is a great way to thicken up sauces and stews and it doesn't make it taste salty or yucky. It's a nice thickening agent. I also keep packaged chicken on hand and quick oats for great quick breakfasts. more peanut butter, and then I have easy grab-and-go snacks down here on the far right. Then underneath are just drinks for that we keep on hand at all times. I also stockpile on pastas. I've also been stockpiling on mac and cheese dishes because my children really like mac and cheese for quick easy dinners. You can add beef to them, you can add chicken to them, you can make sloppy mac and cheese. I have these wraps from the Dollar Tree that are really good and have a long shelf life. I also love to stockpile these quick and easy bagged rices that take anywhere from 60 to 90 seconds in your microwave to cook. Perfect for stir fries. And then another great canned chicken is the chicken and tamales. You can just take the wraps off. These are back in stock at the Dollar Tree. I've seen them in several of them again. And then you chop them up and make them into any kind of dish that you want. I've done chicken chili with these. In this cabinet, I keep a lot of my canned goods. I have those can racks from Walmart.com. I have extra peanut butter, mayonnaise, condiments like barbecue sauce. I have my sauces, paste, and purees in here for spaghetti. When we have our Italian night, panko, I have a ton of stove top. You can have it as a stuffing, or you can make it into all kinds of different casseroles. You can even use it as breadcrumbs and meatloaves. Then we have a bunch of rice, like rice roni. We have the beef, and we also have Spanish rice. This is where the main pantry shelf is. And I try to keep them as organized as I can. They are not too, too bad. My husband just likes to put things wherever. And I try to stay stocked on our canned gravies and cream soups. I have a lot of cream of mushroom. And I have canned cranberries. I don't particularly like canned cranberries, but they are great to make cranberry bread or cranberry muffins with. So you can use them for other things. Here's my cream of mushroom soup. I have about six cans of cream soup, different varieties. And then we have peas, green beans, and canned carrots over on the left, and canned pumpkin. Pumpkin is awesome for pumpkin bread and pumpkin muffins, or even pup 
pumpkin waffles and pancakes. All kinds of things you can do with that. Always keep bisquick in your house too for at all times because bisquick is not just for pancakes. You can make pizza crusts with it, biscuits with it, all kinds of things. And over here is my little utility cart. I have some overflow of canned goods, sauces, mixed vegetables, and refried beans. There's all kinds of Mexican casseroles you can use the refried beans in or just heat them up and have them as a side with your taco night. There's my box of Bisquick at the bottom. And we like to stockpile powdered chocolate for the kids' chocolate milk, as well as oil for the deep fryer and for cooking purposes. On at the top shelf there, I can see right away I can do a chicken helper. I have pasta over to the left on the skinny bin. And I have canned chicken and I have sauce. And I also have pasta that you can use to make the chicken helpers. I can make a tuna noodle casserole on this cabinet as well as tuna shepherd's pie. I have a ton of potatoes. I keep them in stock at all times. We can do tuna boats, which I've done a video on recently in my air fryer. That information is in my Cook With Me players list. Feel free to go through that players list and watch all the videos. And we have a ton of canned chicken. You can just make chicken salads, chicken wraps, and chicken cacciatore with it. There's you can any kind of chicken dish you can think of. You can make the canned chicken as well as chicken breasts from your freezer. This is a spare freezer. It is important to keep it stocked at all times. I have extra pounds of butter, breakfast sandwiches, pot pies for quick heat meats for my children. On the top, I have party wings. I'm getting low on some of my chicken. I do have a family pack there. I don't know if it's still good. It's been there almost a year, so I'm going to have to look at the expiration date. I have ground beef. I have pork ribs, pork chops in here. There is a turkey that was given to me in December from the school district tucked way in the back that you can't see. Then on the bottom shelf, I have more heat meats and vegetables. And then in the basket, we have green beans, snap peas, broccoli, corn, mixed berries, mango and all kinds of tropical fruit because my children have been on smoothie kicks and I've been keeping the freezer fully stocked with frozen fruit because if I don't have ice cubes and a pinch to make and a pinch I can use frozen fruit to make these smoothies. Non-food items that you should keep a healthy stockpile on. Shampoo, conditioner if you use it or two in one shampoo and conditioner, lotions, soaps, medicine for your family, prescriptions that you take and have to take on a daily basis, toilet paper, paper towels, laundry detergent. If you have a pet, stockpile pet food for your cat and dog or gerbil. We have a gerbil, so I include small creatures. They're wonderful too. Also, another great tip for emergency situations, grab yourself a Dutch oven because if you don't know how to cook outside, you're going to have to learn, and you're going to have to learn quick. I learned how to use the Dutch oven in the past two years, and I can put it on my grill top, and I can cook a great dinner on the grill in my Dutch oven if we were to lose power, and I'd still be able to provide meals for my family by using our grill. And you should keep a healthy supply of the gas tanks full of for your grill for your family. Over here I have some more mayonnaise, and then I keep canned prego alfredo as well as canned peas and carrots then i have a lot more pasta and at the bottom i keep a healthy stock of instant mac and cheese and those ramen noodle cups and i also keep cereal and juice then up here these are just quick snacks i also keep a healthy supply of velveeta packets because they are so expensive and seasoning packets then up here just more canned gravy and other canned goods. And I keep a healthy stock on quick heat meats for my kids and bread. When we get to 1,300, we're gonna issue out two $10 Dollar Tree gift cards. And when we get 15 more subscribers, we seem to be going backwards today. Weird. We're gonna issue out one five items prize pack from the Dollar Tree valued at 625. For new people here on my channel, say hi or anything you want. Just stay within the community guidelines in the comment sections down below. You have to be a U.S. resident to win any of my giveaways and subscribe. If you've been around a long time and you know the drill, 
just make sure you're subscribed and you already know you have to be a U.S. resident and you cannot have one in the past 60 days. Same rules apply to both giveaways. That is it for this video for keeping a healthy stock of items you may need for an emergency. Keep a 72 hour plan in check and keep your family safe and everything you have and that you need for a long haul. Before we go, don't forget about our giveaways. Don't forget to smash on that subscribe word, tap on that bell, give this video a big thumbs up.